All right, for this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a Twitter moment, which they finally rolled out to everyone. What you're looking at right now is my D. Erickson Twitter account, but I've created a, and you'll, you'll notice here that I've got a moments tab here, um, that if I click on it, will show all the moments that I've created. It'll house all the moments I've created there. And uh, you can see that I've created one already for our Beyond Social Media Show podcast. Um, and then you'll also notice that within the drop down menu, now I'm going to use a new account that I've created um, that I recently started using for sharing stories about reputation algorithm related stories. And so the Twitter account is Reputation Algo, and this is the one I'll be showing you how to create the moments on. Um, as you can see here, we've got a moments tab, as I showed you before, that'll house all the moments that you've, uh, that you've created. You can see that I have one unpublished one that I haven't, uh, haven't started, uh, which I'll use to demonstrate. You also notice that from the drop down menu, you now have a new option within uh, the drop down menu below list for moments that brings you to the same place. Uh, you'll also notice that there is now a new create a new moment button, and that's what you do to create a new note moment. Click on that and you can start one. I'm going to use this one. I haven't started yet. Uh, it's basically the same thing. It'll bring you to, to the same screen as if you're starting from scratch. And this is where you add in your title. So your title, you want to include um, uh, uh, words that people are likely to be searching for. I don't know if anybody's going to be searching for. Very few people are going to be searching for reputation algorithm. That's what I'm going to call this one. So 13 stories about the... Reputation algorithm, and let's leave it at that, and maybe put a hashtag on reputation because people likely will be uh, using that as a hashtag. And then uh, 13 stories, stories shared. From, I want to give some shout out to my own channel to develop because it's new. I don't have many followers. I'm going to try and get some followers from Reputation Algo about how, rep, how algorithms shape, you got to spell right, shape how the world perceives. Individuals and brands reputation. Let's do that. There we go. No apostrophe on that. And then uh, I can set a cover photo, but I'm not going to set that just yet uh, because I'm going to add tweets first. Uh, the tweets uh, you'll be able to choose from cover photo from photographs that were included in the tweets that you're sharing for a particular uh, um, moment. So I'm going to first add the tweets. Uh, you have you can use tweets that you like. So um, if you're going to be creating moments, you'll probably want to use likes uh, as a way of cataloging the ones that you intend to put in a future moment. Uh, you can do tweets by account. So I'm going to use this. Um, to include the tweets that I've already tweeted. So by my own account, uh, you can do tweet search to look for tweets, or you can uh, plug in direct uh, links to tweets that you have. So um, uh, you want to, in the future, if you're going to be creating moments, you want to think about uh, share, uh, uh, cataloging the tweets that you intend to put, put into, um, into moments. And so you'll see by default, because this is my own account, it's going to load uh, tweets by my uh, own account, but you can add uh, other accounts if you want to include uh, uh, somebody else's Twitter account. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this and load more until I get to the bottom because I, I know exactly what tweets I want to include in this. And I need to get to the bottom to do so. Okay, so I want to include this one about uh, Peter Thiel's uh, startup that he's backing that allows you to sue companies algorithmically. What does that have to do with their reputations? Well, people who use the um, use the company to sue companies algorithmically uh, are going to get a reputation through that system of being uh, heavy litigators, likely. Uh, so that's one. 
Um, I want to scroll through here. Managing your online reputation infographic. I want to add that. And uh, top 15 factors driving customer satisfaction. Those factors are going to be uh, um, have a factor on, on a, a company's reputation. So we'll look, you pay attention to that. Keep scrolling here. Top purchase influences. No, 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 no. Only people use. Here we go. Top scenarios that damage corporate reputations. Obviously, that's one I want to include. I have that. There we go. Um, this is an interesting one. Spotify's uh, Discover Weekly playlist is uh, algorithmically driven. And uh, so that has an effect on Spotify users' uh, reputation of what types of music. They listen to and like. In this, uh, McDonald's uh, social media nightmare, uh, that obviously had an effect on its reputation, so we'll add that. Uh, sampling bias, how machine learning beauty contest awarded nearly all prizes to whites. That's uh, an obvious reputation algorithm story. Big data comes with biases, biases of its creators. That's another related story to that. Um, here's a uh, link to our podcast where we talk about that, that beauty algorithm story. Let's add that. Interesting story, anti-elitism algorithm to decide which secondary schools Paris pupils attend. That's a fascinating story there. And uh, the 9-11 mattress, this we discuss in our podcast, the On Social Media Show, 9-11 mattress sales story, which uh, this company had a, its reputation heavily damaged to a, to a really ill-advised 9-11 uh, promotion. Google's artificial intelligence now understands everything you say. I'm going to stay away from that, but I want to keep this one about Google. Uh, Google's AI uh, understands your photos, so the stuff that you upload, to, the photographs you upload to Google Photos is uh, is going to have a reputation about you and what kind of photography you take. And then finally, uh, a blog post I wrote about Donald Trump's campaign's use of worst email practices and how that affects his emails campaigns and actually getting them into people's inboxes rather than the spam filter. So there we go. I've got 13 stories now. That I'm going to include in my uh, Twitter moment. Twitter recommends 10 stories or fewer, but I'm going to break that because I want to. Now I want to set the cover photo, and we're going to use this GIF here that you saw before of uh, uh, from Saturday Night Live. So it's got some interactive elements, and I want to use that as the cover photo because I want some movement that's going to gain attention. So we'll set that as the cover photo, and then it takes you through this process of. Uh, of doing a preview where you can move the uh, focus around. And uh, since I can't, it's a square, I'm trying to fit a rectangle in a square hole, basically. I'm going to include two people here. I'm going to include uh, Tina Fey and, and Seth Meyers in, the, uh, in that because I can only fit two in. And then it asks you for the mobile preview. And what do I want for the mobile preview? Uh, oh, Tina Fey, she's more popular. And uh, there we go. Then it gives you a preview of what that's going to look like. So we've got that and that interactivity that's going to draw people's attention. Uh, and then uh, it goes into the different moments that are included in this. And I can rearrange them if I want to. But I've got them arranged the way that I the way, way that I want to. So um, so uh, yeah. I lead. I, I end with a blog post of my own, so if people get to the end, they can click on that and actually go to my uh, my blog. So I've got kind of a call to action there. The other options you have are um, choosing a mobile theme color. So if you click on that, you can choose what you want your color to be. I guess I'm not particularly interested in that, but I'll choose blue. I like blue, and so that's my mobile theme color for blue. 
Uh, I can mark if something has sensitive material, so I can warn users if it's uh, something sensitive. I can uh, enable location, so it'll show me where it'll uh, tag geographically where the public, where the uh, moment was created from, and I can share the moment privately, uh, or I can delete the moment. I'm going to publish this moment, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. So we've got it published here. Uh, it's asking me to crop images. Um, I think these are fine, so I'm going to publish anyway. Uh, for mobile, didn't they already do that? Let's try it. Okay, yeah, I thought I already did that. Okay. Oh, okay, it's every one of them that's asking you to publish. So we'll get some cute, uh, cute animals in there. All right, so now I'm going to publish, and I'm going to share 13 stories about the reputation algorithm. And uh, I think it's good. We'll tweet that. All right. So let's take a look and see what it looks like on Twitter. And uh, home. There it is. The top of my feed. It's got that little uh, that little uh, um, lightning bolt icon to designate it as a uh, Twitter moment. And it's got moments listed here. You click on it and uh, go into the actual moment. You've got the uh, GIF going there, scrolling through all the stories. And there you go. That's how you publish a Twitter moment. Uh, you can find me at D. Erickson on Twitter and uh, e-strategyblog.com for content. Thanks for watching.